I mean, for a Say hello. Listen. Happy people all over the world. We were just cleaning out all of our old stuff all over, and I found this. This is a Matthews Black Max 2. I shot this deer, this deer, this deer, this deer, and this deer with this bow, okay? But I moved on. Now I shoot a diamond carbon deploy. It's got parallel limbs. It's got a, the most state-of-the-art sight in the world on it. But finding this old bow is so cool to me. Listen, for all the people that ever said the Muzzy Zero effect was not a good sight, that's that I know of, that was the first dropway. This sight, I don't even know, but this rest is bull. These are the first three shots with this bow since 2009. It's been in a bow case all that time. I have not done a thing different. It's like my old friend. I was trying to shoot the knock off that arrow actually. <laughs> Woo, hey. As you can see, I wasn't expecting to come out here and have everything work perfect, but the fact that it did means we're going hunting. So I'm gonna go throw on some camo. And we're going hog hunting. Rage Hypodermic NC. NC stands for no collar, two inch cut. And what I mean by that is you they don't you don't need anything. They they just clip into place like cool. Cool. Just like that, ready to go. All right, y'all, if you're coming with me, you better get on the buggy. It's raining a little bit, really overcast and nasty, but uh, we're gonna ease back here to the north end of the ranch, see if we can't put the spot and stop on them. It's a special day for me, y'all, real special day. I was excited just to find it. We'll see. Jesse clearly has one of the most unique ante jobs in the world. That makes my heart happy right there. Riding along, bone dry in my frog hog suit, looking at a beautiful little spotted fawn. That fawn's probably about six, six, seven weeks old. hogs like when you see us hunting on this ranch these aren't pinned up hogs these are straight up wild hogs and they live with their nose you can sneak up on them but if they smell you over with
this makes me want to come back tomorrow and do it again. So we're going to head back to camp, eat some dinner, wake up early, and we'll see you then. All right, you guys, we got a southwest wind. The wind's been swirling a lot lately, but we got a southwest wind right now. So we went all the way around. Now we're on the northeast side of one of my biggest food plots. The hogs have been destroying it, but we're gonna go see if we can't get one. This is one of the reasons I always go barefooted in Florida. It's always wet. If you're in the water, out of the water with shoes on, they get sloppy and noisy. I hate noise. incredible how these hogs have just taken over out here, man. And tough little boogers at that. Look at the trail going through there. I mean, Ray Charles could trail this hog. We've got good sign, but I don't know how she went this far. A lot of times what I do, if I'm gonna get down on my hands and knees, instead of dragging my binoculars down through this hole, I put them on, the, on my back. Sometimes it's not pretty. Uh, I'm coming. Every archer hunter knows that rain, when you're trying to track an animal, is not your best friend. Now, it's been raining on and off the whole day, but we got good blood still, so we're just going to keep on going. And we can't be far now, so. Ah, oh, something just poked me in the neck. Oh, here it is, right here. Here's the hog. Yeah, hog's ears right here. Hold on, let me get in here and figure this out. This is where going barefoot can be difficult. You're about to see why we have swamp buggies. I've been waiting so long because I just lost track of time. When you're doing this, you're trying to seal your way through it. It's the last thing coming to mind. Now that you've come along, there's an empty Go. You know, 
know, I've been hunting my whole life. I don't find a lot of joy in the kill. There's an excitement level when you succeed with the hunt and you make a good shot. But um, the actual taking the life of an animal, even though we're gonna eat it, is still, man, I still don't eat it, you know? It's, it's a mixed emotion type feeling. Even with a big buck or something, it's all, there's always mixed emotions. Woo! This is why you buy a rain cover for your camera and wear frog togs. All right, you guys, so I normally don't just shamelessly plug companies, but uh, frog togs has literally stood behind us I know the owner very well, he's a dear friend of mine, and this is what I love about it. See this? We've been in the most pouring down rain you've ever seen. My wireless mic, just the mic, just this mic costs about 400 bucks. This uh, this frog talk suit just saved it. Check out frogtalks.com. They got more stuff than you can imagine, and I stand by it all. Their shoes, are probably my favorite of it all. So, in the spirit of old times, check it out. That's the knife that got it all started right there. That's my little three inch Skinner crown handle made by Silver Stag. That's the knife that I carried forever. And just follow it right to that crease, just right there. I can promise you guys, that sitting around the skinning shed after a, after a successful hunt, that's where some wonderful conversations are had. That's where some wonderful memories are made. And it's just like, this is, this is just as much a part of the hunt as stalking and shooting. I gotta give a shout out to Ken DeRose on my Facebook channel. He just, randomly sent me this really cool dish. It's for German pork. So we're gonna get started right now. This is some sauerkraut that I drained. Heck, we'll just put it all in there. Then, I'm gonna take ginger. We're just gonna put ginger all in there. Then this is some chopped garlic, fresh garlic that we chop up. This is the half of that hog from yesterday. Beautiful, beautiful, great eating little, little hogs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna debone part of it. Now, if you come across any bloodshot, we will cut that out. That's that. This is your ham. We're gonna just dejoint this thing. Stay up there. So now we're just gonna start laying this meat right in there. We're just gonna take some pepper, some salt, we're gonna put some some more garlic in here. Then we're gonna take some ginger. Look how pretty that is. See that? Lovely. This is some unsweetened applesauce. And we're gonna just... And then we're gonna do some cinnamon on top of that. How nice is that, y'all? Beautiful. Now, we're gonna take some heavy aluminum foil, shiny side down, oven set at 350. This goes in. We're gonna let it cook for about an hour and 15 minutes. Then we will be eating good. Thanks, Ken. The whole house smells like a wonderful apple pie. And let's see how it looks. I've not checked on it, I was just guessing on cook time. Oh my gosh, it smells like an apple pie.
Man, Mr. Ken DeRosa, home run. Mm. This is Miner, this is Magael. They work for Landscape Solutions, a good friend of mine, Danny, owns it and they've been doing an amazing job, so. You never had anything like this? No, never in my life. No? No. Well, let's see. It's got sauerkraut and applesauce and cinnamon, all kinds of different flavors. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's about to bust out the, the hot oh sauce. Oh my goodness. This is so delicious. Hmm. Definitely, want? definitely the the definitely the the apple sauce. It gives a oh, just particular flavor. Uh, flavor. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. So, do you have any friends that you think would be watching this video? Absolutely, all my friends on in Instagram. On Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be watching me. That's so cool, man. What's your Instagram channel? What's your, what, what's your name on Instagram? Mm. Hasla MOB. Hotla? Hasla. Ha Hustler MOB. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, you guys. <laughs> so this is a lot of fun. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah? Super cool, man. This is what it's all about, you guys. Just having a good time, enjoying life, eating good food, and making new friends. So that's all I've got for you. Thank you so much, Mr. Ken DeRosa, for the, uh, for the idea. And I appreciate all you guys watching. But that's all i got for you for now. Take care. God bless. We gone.